This is a pre-recorded edition of the drama show but I'm including a couple of clips from the wild show because the shows are beginning to overlap a bit. I think there will be more from the wild show that might fit with the uh, drama idea during the extra fringe in October or working towards that. We'll, we'll see. So the, the first clip is about the problem of space and time. We're, we're looking at problems because of problem-based learning, which is explained in the clip, uh, about this current week, thurs Thursday, uh, when this is broadcast, although I'm talking on Saturday from last week. That, that, that'll become clear as it goes on. Can we talk about moving through space now? Because, yes, um, moving through space, OK. Um, Chris, for, n for new listeners, including yourself, since you've just arrived, uh, next week there's problem-based learning a conference in Denmark and um, they're saying start with the problem and learn around it yeah and we'd had thought that um, time was a might be a problem because for example we have to start the show at 10 o'clock we have to stop the show at 12 o'clock but uh, we've worked out that's not true no. because we've got a lot of previous shows we could uh, repeat. We could have a robot that said, yeah. well, nobody's turned up. We'll just start another wild show. And they're, yeah. they're, they are different, it's true, but people might not notice if for half an hour or so. No. Um, and also, if we, if we were just carrying on, uh, for example, if the show overran and the good, the bad and the ugly couldn't do their show today because we needed the studio, that would be all right because um, there's probably a, an archive of their shows somewhere. No, Philip won't let us. He won't let us? No. Oh. Well, you may be right, Chris. Anyway. Anyway, I think we've dealt with time and um, place is the other problem. Um, the producer has got a tracker on you just to reassure himself that you are on your way. I know he has. But would that matter, really? If I mean, if, could you do the show from somewhere else, or could no. could you imagine somewhere else from this studio? I can imagine somewhere else. So, do you know where you are? Um, no, he doesn't. No. On Mars. <laughs> on Mars. <laughs> on Mars. Well, well, we we did. I did think. You know, were you on Mars or were you here? Yes. Well, if you so, well, that's all right. Look, I mean. There's no windows. We're in a basement somewhere. Yeah. We could be inside a machine of some kind. And, J.D., I have to say that looks very <laughs> neat. He's, oh, yes. <laughs> and so, th so th this is reassuring. The, headpho the headphone cable is no, fully sorted. No, don't mess it up. No, he's not allowed to use it now. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> and now more the problem of social media, uh, how that might work. Uh, specifically now the uh, Extra Street Arts Festival because by this time the uh, Respect Festival will have happened although there's still uh, a lot of video or sounds from that and other Respect Festivals that is available and will appear in different different ways. Sorry, I okay. have to control well, now, this look, look, I've got another urgent question which I, yes. is a genuine question which I have because um, the the Respect Festival this Saturday, I hadn't realised it was a, was a real event. Yeah. And and um, the Extra Street Arts Festival is only a fortnight's time. Yep. And that seems to have been put together in quite a hurry. I'm not sure how many people know about that. Chris, I'm I'm, do, I'm asking a serious question now. We'll worry about your cable in a moment or two. Okay. So I've been trying to Twitter. I've been sending out tweets, but I've I've realised um, a lot of a lot of the uh, music going audience seem, they don't seem to use Twitter net really. No, I don't think it's. Um, I, I I've given up using it. Oh, because um, you know, fancy you know putting something on which is, sounds like birds to me. Tweet, oh, yes. Tweet, <laughs> tweet, tweet. My my first. Week and probably my last week. Yeah, 
Oh. I, I think so. Okay. Mm. Well, so it's me then. Is is what it is. I've I've been I've been complaining to the Exeter Street Arts Festival. I've been yes, and I've mistakenly sent most of my complaints as tweets. Yes, and they don't look at that very much. No, well, but I've sent one to the Facebook bit mm. of it, and that they they say, oh yes, well you can you're allowed to speculate. <laughs> you may speculate <laughs> that something is happening on Saturday week. <laughs> we don't mind. Oh well, there, there you go. That's a very bad request, isn't it? Well, really? I don't know. No, it might be very, very, very sensible because if if mm. um, if everybody's on Facebook like you and Chris, um, that they're much more sensible to put their energy into that, aren't they? Well, I use Facebook for laugh. I put a lot of jokes on. Oh, right. A lot of funny photographs. Yes. Just to brighten somebody's very dull day. Oh. And hopefully it does. Yes. Okay. Right. When you've got a, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Norton, I have to do quite a lot. To, to cheer to, people up. To put him back on his tracks. Oh, yes. There's that as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's, he's got to be kept in, on a certain direction. <laughs> Well, look. All I'm, all I'm, all I can, all I can say then is, um, would you, would you, would you both try mm -hmm. through the magic of Facebook and your phones mm. to find out a little bit more about the Respect Festival and the Extra Street Arts Festival, and um, re repeat something on through mm. the magic of Facebook. I <gasps> know yeah, okay. oh, you've confiscated his phone. Yes, yeah, so he can't. He can't <laughs> use your phone when he's trying, trying to concentrate on what you're saying. Oh, I don't well, know. Well, he's yes. a naughty young man, he is. Well, we have to keep the social media going as well. well that's yeah. all right. You do that afterwards. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Well, it's you are the producer. I'm sure you know yes, well, where, I am the, the where producer, our priorities and are. And I'm saying now... Oh, he's coming around the back. Um, <laughs> I am saying... So <laughs> here, OK. So here on FM radio, we yes. are sticking to FM radio. Yes, we are. Yes. And the social media, and we're make not, sure we're you not bothered, up, really. Please. Yes. OK. <laughs> right. Well, no, we're not bothered because <laughs> producing Nick Pope. Well, quite right too, Chris. I've been waiting for him to do that. You just concentrate on getting your cable sorted. <laughs> <laughs> he's and then the, nicked that as he's well. He's nicked that as well. <laughs> well, he's keeping it tidy. He's yeah. fed up with sorting it out. Uh, hang but on, I've got to, just got to get rid of this big red of rubbish. OK. <laughs> well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pr press this button now, otherwise right. I'll be accused of taking up too much time. <laughs> There's also the problem of um, what what you're allowed to do with social media um, as a, a member of the public or a community journalist or whatever you, it might be, because um, some open air performances just sort of street and photographs are legal and allowed and encouraged by some performers, but then there's other sorts of performance. Uh, that is more or less a sort of gallery uh, approach so artists expect quite a lot of control of their environment and the idea of um, photographs or recording is difficult for them in ways I don't I don't fully understand but that's that's another problem um, so that there is uh, research going on about open-air performance and I guess that would be one of the things they may look at. Um, also, get in, get out, get on. Exeter Culture is looking at outdoor performance. And I, I imagine they will be looking at social media as well. And um, the Exeter Street Arts Festival is going to be a very good occasion to, to see what sort of uh, social media is possible and um, working towards live audiences, selling tickets, um, what the role is of, of an outside event and uh, whether the social media is an important aspect of that. Uh, I, I think that will be an issue. Um, I've got an additional problem that I've done some short pieces of um, a walk following the water that um, have become recognised as shorts by YouTube, but I can't get any sort of sense of sequence into the situation. They they just seem to pop up one by one. So um, that's that's a problem. I'll, I'll come back to another another week. <laughs>